Hello everyone, this is Darwell20, and welcome to episode 14 of Darwell20's Let's Play series, where I need somebody with some good knowledge and mana. I guess Roxanne will have to do. I guess Roxanne, with uh, seven knowledge and five mana. That sounds cool. Uh, I'm working on uh, the research today. So we unlocked uh, via, or well, we, we built a, uh, a university. Uh, pretty much built that between episodes. Also did a few other upgrades. I upgraded my builder to level three, which looks very nice. Uh, upgraded my couriers to level two. I think I did that between episodes. Um, so yeah, I didn't upgrade this builder yet though, mm, to do. For now though, I'm working towards uh, getting this thing going. So hey, look, Roxanne's here. Good, get to working. Uh, so you're researching, you're ready to go. Uh, so we've got, uh, let's see, the research tab here. There's three branches of research. Civilian, uh, which I think, Manipulates, uh, let's see, that gives you unlocks library, requires houses, totaling at least three levels, uh, requires a ho or unlocks a hospital, um, gives your citizens more health, unlocks the school, unlocks mystical sites, unlocks graveyards for when villagers die. Uh, and then there's a whole branch of stuff that you can unlock here. So uh, level one takes about half an hour to unlock. Level two, about an hour. And then two hours, four hours, and eight hours. I think some progress occurs off when you're out of game, but uh, I don't know. Uh, and there's all kinds of crazy stuff you can get. Uh, things to increase uh, your stats. Things to... There's there's further, you know, buildings and other extra cool stuff. Uh, and that's just the civilian tree. The combat tree is all about, you know, fighting and defending. Uh, so you can get guards, you can get, uh, unlock the barracks, um, unlock shield use for your knights, uh, weapon and armor durability, uh, that kind of stuff. And then all kinds of new buildings and stuff that you can get through here. I remember there being, you know, just a whole bunch of cool things. And then finally, technology is where you, uh, progress your, 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 um, technology of your village, of your colony. Uh, so composters hut. Farmers will no longer trample crops. That's always nice. Uh, Enchanter learns scroll recipes to locate workers and summon guards. That's interesting. Uh, stone cake. That's the stone mason's hut. Woodwork. Where a where would a woodworker work if a woodworker would work wood? Unlocks a sawmill. That's what we wanted. Requires a forester's hut totaling at least three rebel levels and 64 oak planks. So you know what that tells me? We got to upgrade our forester to level three. Luckily, I upgraded my... Builder's Hut to level 3, which means I should be able to uh, upgrade you to level 3, which should be awesome. Uh, and that should get Jax assigned, because Jax is the only three level level 3 builder that we have. Um, so we'll see what happens here. I might recall Jax to his little thing here so that he can get to work. Jax, go ahead and get started. Uh, now I'm going to need to look at what we need to make available here, it looks like. Uh, as usual, a healthy amount of stuff. So why don't I get started off camera, getting all these things ready to go uh, so we can, you know, get this thing built. All right, I'm pretty sure we've got everything we need here. Buddy Jax is getting to work. Sweet. Looks like he's filling up on stuff, maybe? I don't know. I started work on the forester side. Yay! All right. I think you've got all the stuff you need, so get onto it. Now, once this thing gets upgraded to level three, I'll be allowed to start researching um, the, the Carpenter's Hut, which I think is going to be awesome for us because there's, I'm going to be honest with you, one of the most annoying parts of upgrading these things is all the different types of wood that you need. There's so many and it's super frustrating. Um, it's, it's these things, the spruce planks panel. I'm hoping that the architect's cutter can handle these. Um, the, the, let's see. So the Fletcher... Can make it the glass blower can make the glass versions the mechanic and the carpenter can make the wood variants so hopefully that's cool and with my tree farm guy over here he's just you know cutting stuff down right you're you're, you're good i gave you um an iron axe now here's my question once i get once i get this guy to level three, what kind of tools can he use? Um, let's look at the, 
Let's see, where's the gatherer on the wiki here? The forester. Does it tell me what tools he can use? It doesn't. I know there's a thing that tells you, though. Builder. Let's see. All right, here we go. So level two workers hut can use iron tools. Uh, level three can use diamond with no enchants or iron with one enchant or wood with two enchants kind of deal, right? So level three worker hut means they can use diamond tools, which is cool. Ooh, it's getting a very fancy upgrade. I like these framed paper wall things. They're a little tricky to figure out how to craft, by the way. Uh, what you need to do is make paper extras uh, and then put them in the carpenter along with whatever material you need. Uh, so for this example, framed paper extra, it's oak wood and paper extra. All right, so it looks to me, if you know I'm understanding this correctly, that Jax here is almost done. Just a few more blocks to place. He might be on his way back to get a few. Yeah, he's probably a little bit lowish on the stuff he needs. That's okay. Now, what should we look at upgrading next is an exceptionally good question. Um, Because I know that we're going to want to build, once we have that research done, the carpenter. Should we get the miner going next? That might not be a bad idea. That might not be a bad idea. Can I get the carpenter? I think it was called woodworker, isn't it? What's it called again? It's the sawmill. That's what we need, the sawmill. Okay, so here's my question. Can I look at what the sawmill is going to be size-wise before I decide to, you know? Oh, I can. Okay, nice. All right, good deal. So let's get ready for level five. That, that looks cool. Does not look cool? Where would you call the front of the sawmill? Would you call this the front of the saw? I mean, that's what I would call the front of the sawmill. If I was, if I had to choose where the sawmill, hey, look at that, Forester's Hut, complete, nice. Beautiful, beautiful, good job, Forester's Hut. Uh, so now I should be able to go in here to my technology research and decide that woodworking can happen. Requires 64 oak planks. Well, luckily, that is something I do actually happen to have a lot of. All right, so technology. We're going to go down here to woodwork and hit the play button. Bing! Researchers have begun to investigate woodwork. Sweet. One out of one research in progress. And I assume I can research more things at once as I level this thing up. And you can zoom in here to see the time remaining. So in about half an hour, uh, which will be far less time for you guys, uh, we should be good to go. All right. So now let's map out where this is, right? So let's say I want, you know, two blocks like so. Um, then, then where we're going to want, that's the front. So let's have the, I want to have a miner or a quarry. And I'm not quite sure the difference between the two, because I don't think both of them existed last time I played. So I think the quarry has something to do with the mine. So I think we want to build a mine first. Is there any, if I decide I want mine, simple quarry. All right, let's start with the mine. Cause I feel like that's where we can hire a miner to work the mine or a courier to work the quarry. If you hire a courier, there will be no miner at this mine. I'm very confused. Well, let's get the mine going, shall we? Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to make the mine, because I think that's the first thing we're going to want here, right? Uh, if I'm not mistaken. OK. Yeah, so miner. That seems cool. Now, you are quite a bit bigger than I thought you would be, but I like that. But maybe we should fill in this terrain back here a little bit. Does that feel like a good idea? Minor here is, wasn't it smaller last time I played? Or maybe this is just this, this particular design of it. Uh, but it feels pretty big. Level 5 gets really big. But I think it's the same physical footprint, it's just way taller. Okay, well, luckily level five makes it easier to kind of gauge where everything is. Let's do this. Let's fill in with some dirt. Oh, that's right. I was going to give my buddy over here his, his diamond pickaxe and so he can just, you know, do better. Look what I have for you, friend. Diamond pickaxes. How great is that? Maybe you'll use diamond now and that'll be fun for you. I'll take care of I don't know how much of a difference it makes, but whatever. Have fun. 
I'll take care of it. This should be cool. And there's a very specific reason I'm doing it like this. Go a couple blocks beyond here. That should be good. Okay. Now let's do a surface mode build. Cool. That looks pretty good. See, I'm trying to make things look nice. I'm not always good at it, but I try, right? A for effort, hopefully. Okay, yeah, that seems pretty cool to me. And then my builder can... We'll probably want to upgrade this to level 2 or 3 pretty quickly. But let's get it built and get the mine working. So you're ready to roll. Okay. Uh, build options. Build building. All right. Back in a sec. I can't tell if uh, Jax is doing the quarry and, and mining or what. Like, come on, bro. Let's go build this thing. Uh, he's just taken a million years to dig out everything he needs to build the quarry, I guess. But he'll get there. He'll get there. Uh, in the meantime, I'm upgrading uh, another house so we can get, uh, you know, some more villagers going in. And I'm um, just, you know, waiting mostly for that. Let's see if my research has come along. That's not a bad idea. How's, how's my one research in progress? So we ain't done yet. I can tell you that much. Uh, but we look very close to done. This this time remaining thing only updates every 15 minutes. So like even though it says 15 minutes remaining, you can go by the by the progress bar. And if I had to guess, it's probably a minute or two away from being done. So maybe we come back when that's complete, and that would be cool. Hey, my researchers made a work breakthrough. They now understand woodwork. Nice. All right. Well, let's get another research going uh, if we can. Requires farms. The stonemason hut requires a mine of at least three levels. So three level one mines, or one level three mine, or a level two and a level one, something like that. Uh, requires mines to only at least two levels for the smeltery. A lot of mining type stuff going on in this area. Oh great, it's raining. My favorite. My favorite. So anything I can start working on unlocks the hospital. Let's do that for a carrot. I like that idea. Get a carrot going. You can research the hospital for now. That seems like a good time. And I'll be back. And since I can, I'm going to go ahead and lay down the sawmill location here. Now remember, I'm going to make it level 5. We're going to place it exactly where we had it aligned. That looks cool. Okay, looking good to me. Perfect. Yeah, I like it. And that definitely looks like it would be the front, right? Yeah, that works for me. Do it up. And then whoever's done working, you know, get her done. Sweet. Well, hey, would you look at that? The mine is actually coming along nicely. Sweet. I kind of like go AFK for a little bit, come back, see how they've done. You know, I just passed the night, so they're all getting back to work. But yeah, not bad. Okay. All right, guys, we're back. Uh, just another few minutes have passed here. Lots more than that. Uh, what do you need, Jax? Are you just complaining about no guards? Yeah, it's fine. Uh, I have Jax upgrading the miner to level two, which should allow him to use iron tools and go deeper, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, I think the, the higher the level the miner is, the deeper they can go. Uh, and as we can see here, it looks like, you know, oh, cool, 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 sweet. Uh, and then we've got the miner here going, or the stonemason, or no, the sawmill, that's right. So uh, stonemason is what I want to work on next. Stonemason and or smelter, I don't figure it out. Um, but yeah, so we've got the sawmill currently being upgraded to level two by Violetta. 
So yeah, at this point, I'm just kind of upgrading some of my buildings and doing a lot of like waiting around. Uh, and, and, you know, for the most part, doing that waiting off camera. Because, you know, it feels like I should wait off camera if I'm going to wait. <laughs> um, uh, what's up, Cannon? You need another pickaxe? I figured as much. Uh, I've been giving this guy pickaxes because I keep hoping that, like, I'll be able to give him an iron one soon. But, uh, no, no such luck. Uh, we're getting there, though. And this guy's going to collect, you know, the stone resources for us. This one is what I'm really looking forward to. I want to get this guy finished level enough to level two. And then when we're back with that being done on camera, what I'd like to do, and, and it should be like any second now, honestly, because it looks like we just need a few torches placed and then we're done. So let's get ready to teach this guy some recipes so that I don't have to do any more, you know, of anything. All right. Sawmill level two complete. Nice. So let's see what's the deal here. Uh, first off, let's get a worker in this place. Uh, we need somebody with some knowledge. I guess Reagan will work, right? Uh, sure. That seems fine. I don't know how important it is to have good stats, if I'm being completely honest. Um, crafting recipes, custom recipes, tasks and settings. So, okay, so that's a crafting recipe. Custom recipes, input one. Architect's cutter recipes. Ha ha, okay. Well, that's cool. I like the sound of that. Now, who can make, who can make stripped stuff? Stripped oak logs. Uh, which one of you guys? The forester can do that. They will also strip and modify logs as required. That's cool. So the forester can actually do the stripping for me, which is what's up. All right, so do we need to, so that we can leave those recipes in place. It looks like that's all good. Okay. Now, um, what I probably want to teach here is the stripped wood recipes. Because stripped wood recipes, you wind up with a lot. So it's four oak logs turned into three oak wood. Cool. Nice. Now if we go to recipes, sweet, we can enable and disable them. That's cool. Okay. Uh, so what I want to try doing is I want to try, let's upgrade one of these houses back here, right? Uh, and we might need to uh, pass the night here before we go to do that. But build options, upgrade with Violetta. There you go. Build request completed. I might skip the night before everybody's in bed because I just want to get going. I'm not going to lie, there's been a lot of downtime in this episode for me. So, I'm like, let's go villagers. Build a little quicker, would you? Um, so this guy's still got everything he needs, right? Cool. And I think the higher the tier, the more recipes you can learn. So I assume it's 30 at level 3 and 40 at level 4, etc. Um, but my goal here is to be able to to make it so that they can request things. And hopefully the whole process will work. Um, my thoughts are this, right? Uh, so you've got that going on. If we look at this, isn't there a way? So like spruce, stairs, and trapdoor, I think I could teach, right? So how about we crafting recipes, teach recipe. I know stairs is kind of a common one. Stairs, spruce stairs. Spruce trap door, I'll go ahead and toss in there. Now, if we come over here to Violetta, do you like recognize or indicate? I thought there was a way to make it so that like you knew that you could request these things. So these guys can have crafting recipes too, but they can only have two by two. So we need to be aware of that. Um, you know, what I could teach you, for example, um, would be like the button, the birch button. So that's cool.
So I thought at some point what happens is she decides, hey, I'm going to request this, this resource, and it'll create a queue over here for them to start working in. So like this task, for example. Now, this person needs, let's find something that they'll make, right? So spruce stairs I gave them, right? And spruce trap door, stripped birch wood slab, stripped birch wood stairs, stripped birch wood slab. Birch wood, script birch wood slab. Can you make all of these now? Because that would be awesome. I don't know. Oh, I think they can. Well, that's awesome. I don't have to teach each individual. Oh, that, that is really cool. That is really cool that you don't have to teach each individual one because that would have been real annoying. So, so these two should both be covered by that, right? And stripped oak log should be handled by that dude over there. Okay. Maybe I could teach you a bed. I wonder if I could teach you a bed. Can I teach you a white bed? But not with rubber wood planks, with oak planks. Are we going to have the draggy bits? <gasps> he implemented draggy bits. I love it. Okay. So at some point, what should happen is we should recognize this sawmill has a task. I think. I think. I'm not entirely sure how this works. I don't know if there's anything I need to do. But in theory, Violetta should be like, I hey, I need this thing. Open requests. Builder, delivery of white wool. Birch door, delivery of birch door. Crafting table. See all these requests that are open? Okay. Now. Okay. Ripped birch wood stairs. Shouldn't you know how to do that? Stripped birch wood stairs should be on the list. So you should know how to make that, assuming that you get some stripped birch wood, which you can get here from stripped birch log, which this one can supply. Stripped birch log, yeah. Cool. So in theory, Holden should be taking care of me right now. Holden's doing something over here, which is neat. He dropped off some planks. Oh, she's working. Look, for, for Violetta, she needs a bed. So look, she made the bed for Violetta. That's cool. That's what's up. She made Violetta's bed for her, so that's cool. So. So the courier brought the resources needed to get the bed made. Not good enough, eh? I serve with pleasure. Script birch wood stairs. You should be able to handle this. So I'm gonna try something here. Where is Violetta? Violetta, where are you? So I taught her some recipes. Still waiting on some other things to get made, I guess. She might be working at the house. There she is. What's up, Violetta? I serve with Open requests. If we look at this... Oh, Resolver Carpenter. It, it sorted itself out. Awesome. Okay, cool. So you can see who's resolving it, right? So they've, they're waiting for something. Uh, and you can see who is currently working on it. So it looks like she should be making now what we need. So it may have already been made and is getting dropped off by Holden. Come on in, Holden. Drop it off. I think that was the stairs that she's been complaining about. Hey, look, the stripped birch wood stairs. Nice. Okay, cool. So now we're just waiting on some birch fences, some spruce stairs, which I'm pretty sure I taught over here, right? Um... 
just regular old spruce stairs. So I shouldn't have to make these things. Now, granted, I could make them, it would be faster. Good enough, eh? Totally not disputing that fact. Um, but we can always come over here to open requests and see what she's, like, waiting. So, like, I assume that she could just be like, hey, I want I this stuff. With pleasure. I guess we just wait and see. At some point, she'll be like, hey, I need this stuff. And then, you know, make a request for it. And then in theory, the courier should take the resources from the warehouse, bring them to the sawmill, the sawmill will make them, and then bring them to her, and everybody wins. I think. I think. Now, here's a question. Do you know how to make spruce planks? Because we know how to make spruce logs. Can I teach you how to make spruce planks? Maybe not. It might be that we don't have plank recipes going on. Because you need... Birch fences she should be able to make. Though I don't know if they know how to make sticks. So that might be the problem for them. And then spruce planks. Let's do sticks and spruce planks over here. Also, what did you do? You did that. So let's remove that. Birch fence can just be regular old sticks. Sticks can just be regular old oak logs. How about that? And then um, spruce planks. spruce logs. Now what other log recipes might I want to teach you? Because you've got... You know what, I think I taught Violetta a couple log recipes over here. Yeah, I taught her birch log turns into birch planks. I should probably... Wonder, can I teach you custom recipes? I can't teach any. But I could teach you. I should probably have you do the the more common ones. How about spruce and oak? Those are the ones that I typically see it needing. So now you've got four out of four in there. And then what I'll do is I'll remove this recipe so we can save it for, you know, a more complex one. And realistically, I wouldn't like to have these here either, but eh, you have 20. And we'll upgrade that, that house again so they get even more recipes. So are you uh, making requests now? I serve with pleasure. I would want to see you making requests. Birch fence. So you should have everything you need here. Stripped oak log. You should be able to make all these things. We just have to see if she decides to, uh... To build it again? Oh, open requests. Aha! There we go. So look, Carpenter is going to make the wood for me. Nice. Okay, cool. Enough, eh? I will work on it. I will work on it. Yes, yes, yes. Open requests. Resolver player, spruce planks. I taught you how to make spruce planks, didn't I? Spruce log turns into spruce planks. You should be able to handle that. Well, we'll see what happens. I'll give it a few minutes here and we'll see what goes on. All right, so to be nice, I brought her spruce logs. Now, you should be able to craft, according to the crafting recipe, spruce logs into spruce planks. So, like, maybe you could... Not good enough, eh? Maybe you could handle that? Bill says resolver player, which is not... Like, the, the stairs resolve from the carpenter. Maybe I should teach the carpenter that recipe? Let's try teaching the carpenter that recipe. Might just take a minute for them to realize that that changed. I serve with pleasure. I get to build it again? Hey, Resolver Carpenter. Nice. Okay. Well, then forget this mess. Disable this recipe then. 
or remove it at least. Not cool. Good enough, All right, I will work on it. So your only complaint now is what? Birch fence, resolver carpenter. Birch planks, resolver player. Okay, so clearly you don't want to have the planks recipes. But let's teach you those. It's your gold. And the same for oak. Now, hopefully, Violetta calms I down and recognizes that somebody better. else can do this. All right, yeah, recipe system, resolver carpenter for the planks. All right, cool. So now it should have its all like, you know, I got everything under control. Now, I feel like in older versions of this mod, it used to update this to like a yellow color if it was going to be fulfilled by the request system. Maybe I'm crazy. But we'll let everybody take a nap, and then we'll come back to hopefully see everybody working on it. So I see Holden's up to something. What are you doing, Holden? Looks like you're going to bring resources. You've got birch logs. Good. You're going to come over here and deliver them, presumably. There's the birch planks. Sweet. And then she's going to make... I serve and you can see the open order. requests here, I guess. Or you can see her inventory, which is neat. I serve with pleasure. Oh look, brought a whole bunch of spruce planks over too. Nice. And then you're fulfilling the request over here. So like, as you can see, we're starting to get to the point where like the, the colonists become self-sufficient, right? They can start making the resources they need and I don't have to babysit them anymore. That's what I'm aiming towards getting to, right? Automation. That's what Dyer does. Oh. So now you're just waiting on still the fences and some more stairs and trap doors. But I assume that's what you're working towards. I serve with pleasure. Yeah, getting there. I mean, a little bit slow. She could absolutely be slightly faster. But not the end of the world. Making progress. I serve with pleasure. Sweet. Birch fences are complete. Now, I assume that you're going to next work on the spruce stairs, right? Let's see. Yeah, see all the spruce planks disappeared? And now if you look in her inventory, working on the stairs. That's cool. I like that. All right, so let's wrap up the episode here. We'll come back next time. Uh, you can see Andrew's bringing the stairs, or the probably the, plant, the fences over to Violetta, which should fulfill that required resource. So let's wrap up the episode here. We'll come back next time. Uh, and we'll probably, I don't know, we might take a break from Mine Colonies for a little bit. We might, I don't know, we'll see what we're going to do. For now, wrapping up point, Donald 20 signing off. Hope you enjoyed the episode. Take it easy.